There's been some noteworthy firsts with the arrival of the new C8 Corvette. The biggest one being that it's the first vet to have its engine sit in the middle of the car. Also for the first time, it'll use a dual clutch transmission and only a dual clutch transmission. Yes, no manual gearbox will be offered, which is a bummer. But another first comes with the debut of this, the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible. No, it's definitely not the first Corvette drop top. There have been a lot of those beginning with the original Vets that debuted in 1953 that were all exclusively convertibles and followed by plenty of other open top versions throughout its history. But this latest model is the first to feature a hard top. Up until now, all Corvette convertibles were soft tops, but moving to a hard top provides some good benefits, such as a quieter cabin when it's up, better security compared to a rag top, and cleaner styling that manages to follow closely to the coupe. A bi-colored roof is standard, while customers can opt to have it painted carbon flash for a two-tone appearance. The composite hardtop, which can be operated at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, takes just 16 seconds to go down. When stored, the top sits beneath a tonneau cover featuring an engine cooling vent and aero-optimized nestles inspired by fighter jet engine housings. While quite large, Sheffy says the nestles are designed in a manner to reduce air from circulating into the cabin. Helping to further reduce cabin wind buffeting at speed is a power rear window that can be operated with a top up or down. And if you're wondering if the new Corvette convertible feels like a convertible with these big nestles and more open feeling than the coupe with its roof panel removed, I can tell you it absolutely is more airy inside. As for trade-offs that come with the convertible, Chevy made every effort to keep them at a minimal. From a function standpoint, the trunk can still hold two sets of golf clubs with the top down, and the front is still there capable of holding a rollerboard and laptop bag. Performance-wise, the chassis was designed from the beginning to be a convertible, so structural rigidity concerns are non-issues. And with a top-up and rear spoiler from the Coupe's Z51 performance package, the convertible features the same coefficient of drag as the Coupe. There are, however, some changes to the suspension, springs, and dampeners to cope with the convertible's less than 80 pounds of extra weight over the Coupe. Like the Coupe, power comes from a 6.2-liter LT2 V8 engine. It's all motor making 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque when an optional performance exhaust system is installed. Without the exhaust, output numbers drop to 490 horses and 465 pound-feet. And the engine works with the aforementioned Tremec 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. The 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible will head into production next year towards the end of the first quarter, with right-hand drive versions coming later on for consumption in select international markets. As for the price, here in the U.S., the base 1LT convertible will carry a $7,500 price premium over the $59,995 Corvette Coupe.